What's going on guys? Gomer's here. Now an enlightened man because I had Portillo's last night. Ooh, good lord. The chocolate cake shake is something that's going to leave you on the toilet for a substantial amount of time, but also uh, going to leave your taste buds dancing the night away. Good lord, was it good. They essentially just blend up a giant slice of chocolate cake in a vanilla milkshake. Um, health food for sure you can go on weightwatchers.com and no doubt they're talking about how they recommend this product from portillo's but anyway that's not concerning the brand new legend reveal and uh early coverage of the developer feature premiere tonight so uh, let's talk about that shall we we have a brand new legend reveal coming today uh, hopefully a good amount more we still don't know the randy johnson situation uh, and whatnot, but oh well. Leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, and let's go ahead and get into this one. So, I uh, did see the legend already. Unfortunately, I had to look. I was too intrigued, and you'll find out that it is not this. I do find this funny, though. Who played Battlefield 2042? Good lord. Um, not, not so good. Uh, Mike Mucina, pretty good, you know? Brand new legend right here. Uh, looks like you guys were right again. I, I don't know how you do it, but yeah, Mike Mussina. I, I guess the old Yankee Stadium did kind of give it away, but there's still plenty of more options. The Yankees have been around for quite some time that they could choose from, and uh, it's going to be Mike Mussina. So, Angel, of course, as always, we're going to check out his, uh, you know, little mock up here, and this is with the Orioles, which probably would be his best card with the Orioles, although he did have some really good years with the Yankees as well. Um, 114 stamina, 104 hit per nine, 113 K per nine, 88 BB nine. He's got four seam cutter, slider, knuckle curveball, and a changeup. Uh, so be pretty good. You know, is it going to be a top five pitcher? Is it going to be in your rotation by January? No, but it could certainly be a good card. Um, one point I do want to bring it up. And I hate to, hate to do it, really. But do you guys think that we're going to get a Legend trailer? Do you guys think that we're going to get a big Legend still to be revealed? We don't know about Randy Johnson, as we talked about earlier. But to this point, we have um, older players. Kurt Gibson, Mike Mussina, and then Mauer Morneau, Howard Utley. Those are the only new Legends that we know of to this point. And the game is on early access the 31st right so it's not that far from now so i'm starting to wonder what exactly the situation is if we are going to see a legend trailer because it just seems hard to believe that we'd only get like 10 or less legends because we always get at least like 15 to 20 in that range of course some bigger than others uh but uh it is kind of curious i do want to point this out we did get actual more in-depth player models of uh, the four legends that I did talk about. The two duos from the City of Brotherly Love and the City of Fucking Failures. Uh, the Failures and Twins. Ryan Howard here. Looks pretty good. Um, looks like could be a little bit better. But I can still tell it's Ryan Howard. If the name wasn't there, yeah, I'd be able to type it's Ryan Howard. Uh, Chase Hutley looks really good. I think they did a good job with him. It's always tough because I don't think these guys actually come in for scans. And I don't know if they just used their prior scan. You'd think so. Because these guys just retired in 18... Uh, sorry, 17, 18, 17, and 18 respectively, I think. Uh, so Chase Utley looks pretty good. Morno looks great. You know, Morno looks picture perfect. Maybe they did bring him in. You know, he is... Uh, broadcasting for the Twins alongside uh, Dick Bramer. And then Joe Maurer. Can't really see old Joe there. You'd think he had the best face scan of all. He was on two fucking covers back to back for that matter. So um, that's something to think about. I also tweeted some like attribute guest projections. For Jose Abreu and uh, Ismani Grandal. Cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, Mike Mucina is the brand new legend that we did see. Uh, I also do want to go over tonight a little bit, if I'm not so disoriented here. Apparently, they're going over commentary and presentation. Uh, if you guys have not heard the commentary by John Shambi and Chris Singleton at this point, you can check out my last video. Matty V is replaced. And, well, 
maybe not unfortunately it kind of depends on how you look at it uh but i did want to show off a bit of the presentation uh just a clip of uh what do you know gomer's video so um just kind of get a gander of it right here and I mentioned in this video the presentation doesn't seem too altered. It doesn't seem too different. Like that's the opening cinematic and in getting into games, which I think is cooler. Uh, of course, if you play it on the Switch, it's <laughs> it's gonna look pretty choppy. Um, but hey, you know you didn't click on this video if you're a Switch player to get roasted now, did you? So everything about this, again, as I mentioned in the video, if I didn't see 22 tech tests there, would I think it's 21? Probably. I do also want to show off this here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see it would be my hope. Uh, yeah, the wind projection, you know of this feature at this point. Just hit a home run. We now have a higher chance of winning. Seems pretty simple. I don't think it has any gameplay implications. Uh, hairball, I guess, right there. Uh, just kind of a little visual to show you you know enhance the presentation a little bit more which is cool of course and uh otherwise uh i, I suppose we'll show off this tweet that i made here because it is pretty prevalent after hearing the news yesterday that we are without baseball for at least a week longer 13th of april i believe is now the purported opening days that could happen i don't know i hope so let me know what you guys think. I will go over the deal yesterday if you saw it, but um, since baseball's canceled until further notice, what if MLB The Show 22 released POTM cards from years in the past? Here's a May 2009 Joe Maurer. Uh, what cards would you guys want to see from the program? I think it could be cool. My main point with this tweet is I just don't want to see the same cards that we've seen since uh, MLB 17, since POTM was introduced. Because again, in MLB 20, that's all we had, because there was no baseball going on. I think they easily could do something like this. We talked about it in one of my prior videos, um, and then here's just a physical example for y'all. Um, but yeah, if you guys didn't see the deal, essentially it is as follows. Um, the MLB was $25 million off on the pre-arbitration uh, pre pool. Uh, the CBT... Uh, starts off 2 million shy, ends up 8 million shy. Um, but of course, the biggest contention was the international draft, I know. Um, but from the poll that I had, 71% of you guys had said that you would accept the deal if you were part of the MLBPA, which I don't think anybody of my subscribers is. Uh, maybe by chance, Max Scherzer or somebody went ahead and clicked no on there because they didn't sign it. So uh, I'm not really too sure... Uh, I kind of had hope there. I followed stupidly Bob Nightingale's, Boob Nightingale's uh, opinion that, oh yeah, tomorrow baseball is going to be back. I'm thinking they're going to accept the deal. And it's not the case, Bob. And your redemption arc is over, quite frankly. But uh, we're going to have to wait and see. Once baseball does get rocking and rolling, it should be fun. But nonetheless, we're going to have good old simulation virtual baseball to tide us over so uh let me know what you guys think about mike me silly being added into the game i don't know if i'm going to make a video covering the feature premiere tonight because do you need a video talking about hearing more voice lines or a seeing presentation probably not uh, probably just follow me on twitter and i'll tweet it there at gones to legend leave a like if you guys enjoy subscribe if you guys are new to the channel thank you for watching you guys have a great day there comes out yeet